Assalamu alaikum my students today we are going to start a new chapter and this chapter is called states of matter basically as you have studied that there are three states of matter and you have studied since childhood one more state of matter has been discovered but it is not as far as discussed but the main three branches or th the main three states of matter are uh, discussed in majority so basically in this chapter you're gonna learn about the three states of matter about the difference between the three states of matter and about the characteristics of three states of matter and then we will have a look also at the fourth state of matter which is plasma okay so as you know that there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas so let's move towards the states of before going toward the state of matter let's go toward matter that what is actually the matter okay so let's move toward that what is actually matter basically a matter is a substance which uh, matter is something you know anything which can take up the space which can occupy space which can which can have mass weight density volume and occupy some space so any subject any object which actually have such characteristics basically it is called matter so a matter a matter can be defined as that a substance that actually can assume the shape of the container can as occupy the space or uh, a matter is something that can ha that can actually have mass weight volume so it is called matter okay so there are, are different concepts about matter for example uh, if uh, if I have said that matter is anything that has mass and uh, something which actually take up the space but there are actually two point of view and matter can be studied from two point of view the first point of view is the macroscopic and the other point of view is the microscopic according to the macroscopic point of view the matter looks continuous and it is indivisible continuous mean that something which is con growing continuously and indivisible means something which cannot be which cannot be divided into its fragments okay so this was the concept which is also called macroscopic view and matter is also studied from this point of view if we move toward the microscopic um, point of view so the microscopic point of view is that, that the matter is composed of particles atoms well, as we know that uh, there are basically the atoms which actually combine together to form molecules and these molecules combine together to form a compound and then a big element and then a big substance so this was uh, the uh, this these were actually the point of view according to which a matter can be studied as you all know that there are actually three states of matter but presently if we talk about recent conditions so now there are actually four states of matter the fourth state of matter is on is not actually discussed much more because there is no uh, information much more information regarding the fourth state of matter however we actually consider only three states of matter and the first one is the solid the other one is the liquid and the other one is the gas while the fourth state of matter is plasma but there uh, the researches are actually going on and the scientists are continuously working on plasma just to get to know about that how it is and how it works and how it is just look like so the scientists actually have discovered that plasma is the, the fourth state of matter but they are not yet sure about that because the discoveries are actually being made uh, you know on different times so uh, the work is actually going on and the and the researches are actually going on on plasma so basically as in our book the in the fundamental chemistry in all level cambridge chemistry uh there are actually three states of matter so you have to remember the three states of matter but as far as your point of view of the cambridge is concerned you must know that there is also the, a fourth state of matter and this state of matter is called plasma okay so there are actually three states of matter which we have to study uh, the one is solid the other one is liquid and the other one is gas 
there are different diagrams which are shown on the screen and as you can see so basically the first one uh, diagram is about the solid and uh, the other one the uh, the uh, next one is the liquid and the other next one is the gas okay so if we talk about solid you can see the yellow color atom uh, these atoms basically are very compact with each other and they cannot even move they actually just vibrate on their uh, just uh, on their axis as you can say or uh, they just vibrate or you can say they spin on their place but and there is no any space between the solid molecules the speed is very tiny just like negligible if you talk about liquid so liquid have some bit space I think and then as you can see as you can observe the screen the liquid molecule ha have some space between them while looking at the gas the gas has the molecule actually of the gas are very far from each other and uh, that's why the diffusion is also much more in gas so the gas molecule are very far from each other the liquid are just uh, you know they are just nearer to each other but they have uh, some space between them where the solid doesn't have any such space between them and they are very compact structure okay students now let's move toward the next slide and it is about solids characteristic then which type of solid which type of characters does the so, uh, which type of characteristic does the solid actually have so a solid basically is the simplest state of matter and a solid has three main properties it has a definite shape it means that its shape is very definite its mass is very definite and its volume is definite okay and a solid basically will look always the same and take up the same amount of space Okay, so let's have an example of some solid. For example, we have colored pencil, we have basketball, we have chair. So all these basically are the example of solids. Okay, students, now move toward the next slide and it is about the characteristic of liquid. Basically, liquid is the most fluid and ever-changing state of matter. And a liquid has three main properties. It does not have definite shape just like the solid has. It has definite mass and it has definite volume just like solid but its shape is not definite okay if we there is actually the contrasting difference between the solid and the liquid and it's just about shape that the solid has a definite shape whereas the liquid does not have any definite shape basically and the liquid will always take up the same amount of space and take the same the and it would take the shape of its container basically it assumes the shape of the container oh okay so now we are actually having some examples of liquid we have a glass in which the orange juice is being poured and this orange juice basically is the example of liquid then we have some salad dressings here we have some cough syrup here so all these basically are the examples of liquid okay students now let's move toward the gas characteristics basically gas is the most complex and the most difficult to understand state of matter it has three main properties just like solid and liquid it does not have any definite shape okay now do remember that solid has definite shape liquid didn't have any type of definite shape whereas the gas also does not have any type of definite shape gas actually does not have a definite mass and it even does not have a definite volume a gas does not always weigh the same or take up the space amount of the space However, like a liquid, a gas will always take the shape of its container no matter the size or the shape of that container is. Okay students, now let's have some examples of the gases. For example, you can see on the left that there is a burning, uh, there is a picture of burning words and uh, due to that the smoke is getting produced. So this is smoke basically is the example of gas and on the right we have some examples of the balloons and in balloon as you know that helium is a gas which is present or oxygen is a gas which is actually present so these are the example of gases okay students so now you uh, i am giving you a worksheet and now you have to decide whether these items are solid or liquid or gases so we have a 
empty plastic bottle, we have a glass bowl, we have a steam, we have milk, we have MM, we have vinegar. So these all are the substances and you just have to figure out that which is the solid, which is the liquid and which is the gas. Okay students, as I have also told you that you have to purchase the fundamental chemistry book and it's actually endorsed by University of Cambridge examinations. So uh, go and purchase this book, book and after that just come to that uh, chapter and try to solve the sums, try to solve the question which are given below just after each and every unit related to solid liquid and gas and try to solve by your own. So this is your homework, this is your exercise and you have to go through it.